Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to start with a Fallout New Vegas playthrough. Let's get right into it. changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start.
I love the look of those uh, NCR Rangers from the start of that intro. Yeah, you get the DLC items for oh, owning all the DLCs right out the gate. It's a great start to the game. I hope none of that music gets uh, copyright strike. If there's no music there, you know it. There is a risk of it, and I had to remove it. Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Courier it is. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Stick with mail. Go Caucasian. Oh, somebody with a beard. Hairstyle, let's see what they have here. Comb over. Yeah, blast back is what I think I'll go with. It's good to me. Yep. Well, I got most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. <laughs> oh, I'm going low quick. Ooh, look Ooh what they got so for me. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you got back all your faculties. I'm gonna just take all the stuff. Oh yeah, bigger tester. Let me actually pay attention here. Average Joe. I think I'll just keep five in that. Charisma. Do I want to? Oh God. Do I want to actually have any abilities in this? No, nah, I need intelligence more than anything. Nah, actually, I'll take that back out. I'll just keep not eligible. Agility, I'll take. Dang it. Nah, I gotta. I think I can go all the way to the end. And adjust it a little quicker. There we go. So bring Charisma down to that. Bring Agility up. Luck. I'll bring agility up to seven. It's kind of a borderline build, but I feel like a lot of these Fallout games, for the most part, no matter what build you go for, you're going to have a pretty strong character by the time you like get close to max level. So it doesn't necessarily really matter. 
Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn or dropping. What do you say Ooh. you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Sure. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Cat. House. Shelter. Night. I mean, day would be my answer. I guess, uh, sleep. Bandit. <laughs> Vaporize. Light. Dark. Mother. No, God. <laughs> Human shield. Regret, tattle, tantrum, cookie jar, jeans, caret caretaker, obviously. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. That's a disagree. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Disagree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Agree? I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. No opinion? Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. What is that? Well, out of the answers, that looks like an ant head. Okay. How about this one? It looks like a ship at sea. <laughs> Too embarrassed to say what it looks like. I think it looks like a, a ship at sea. Last one. Oh, that looks like a... Hmm, what does that look like? I think it looks like a mushroom cloud. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Well, I'm going to take out a en energy weapons and probably explo explosives. Go to guns. I do like speech... I want speech or repair. I don't think I'm going to use much of stuff. And if I can afford... I know there's repair kits in this game. I'm going to probably buy those more than I'll do anything actual making. So, speech. Guns. I don't think barters. Eh, yeah, let's go with barter. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. I think I'm going to go for more of a gun. Gun build, so. See what they have. Take it slow so y'all can see the perks. Ooh, fire quickly. <laughs> so I can have the opposite. Fires more slowly, but are 20% more accurate. I'll go fast shot and... That looks pretty good. Wild Wasteland. Bizarre situations. Yeah, let's go with that. Alright, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. 
pretty good looking game. Well, at least with my settings. I did get the new PC hooked up over the weekend, so... I am running on the new system. So it can handle games a little better with higher quality. But it still looks pretty good for... How old is this game now? Nope, don't have the skill for that. Um, like 2010. Oh, is that a knife? Sugar bombs, pork and beans. Thanks for healing my headshot. I'm gonna just, uh... Oh, didn't mean to take that. I'm gonna just take all your stuff. Bobby pin, I need those. A anybody knows anything about the Fallout series, you need bobby pins. Ooh, what do you got down here? Carton of cigarettes. I think I can sell those. I become a hoarder when I play these games. <laughs> I just start taking everything. Oh. Yeah, need all the food I can get. I feel like I'm very reckless when it comes to these games, so. Thanks, Doc. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find an extra kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out, too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. <laughs> anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing hardcore hardcore mode. I'm just not good enough at this game for that. Let's see. Old Ward Blues. Lonesome Road. Honest Hearts. Is that it? Oh, no. I got to... Get used to the controls here. First person. Nope, that's waiting. Gun runner's arsenal. Wait, so B is how you pull up the Pip Boy. On controller at least. So I'm gonna make sure I have no radio on. I don't wanna have any um Let me equip some stuff here. Stop it. Don't need the pop-ups. So, I don't want to have any... Uh, copyright strike for <laughs> video game music. So, I gotta be careful. I turned off all the music and make sure no radio is equipped. That does 16, 47 DPS. 26. No, 8 damage. 26 DPS. But I got ammo, though, for... 1332, 1238. Yeah, I'll take that. Ooh. Are you Victor? Howdy, partner! Thanks for digging no me mention. out the grave. I'm always. How did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Do you know who those men were that who attacked me? Can't say that I'm familiar with the rascals. Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. How'd you end up in Grootsburg? I moved into town, oh, 
10, 15 years ago. Before that, I, um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway, it's a right peaceful town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. I'm a Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Okay. Happy trails! Well, it's cool to know Doc Mitchell came from a vault. That's pretty cool. Oh, Sierra Madre? Dead money? I'm still debating whether I want to do the DLCs on this. Because I did a little research and I know that um, if you... You have to do all the DLCs before you do the main campaign. Because once you finish the the main campaign, you automatically go to... Well, it's the end of the game. So I'd have to sneak those in beforehand. So I'm still debating whether I want to do those in this playthrough. Or just finish out the main campaign and then revisit it with an old save. I think I might finish the main campaign and have a save lined up. And then we can come back to it. With... With the DLCs, if that's what y'all are interested in. Easy Pete, what you Howdy. got? What can Easy Pete do for you? Why you call it Easy Pete? I was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. The one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. I think Keep that's all I need for now. If you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse, critters move in there sometimes. <laughs> Thanks. So, yep, this Prospector Saloon. Oh, cool. Cheyenne, stay. I want a dog. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Yeah, I guess. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. You stop skipping dialogue. I want y'all to be able to see the game. Didn't mean to skip it. I want a dog, though. Can I get a dog companion in this game? I know Fallout 4 has a dog companion. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Got it. See if I can actually hit a shot here. Yeah, <laughs> nope. You know what? That's the right idea. Try crouching down and stand. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. <laughs> Just but walk right up to him. Me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go. Sure, why not? Take Follow out some me. geckos. It's just down to the southeast of short ways. I think that's up there is where I have to go for the where I got shot at. So I'm gonna go check that out in a minute. Help her out with the geckos first, though. I think she gave me a free gun. I don't think you get the varmint rifle just willy nilly. I might put on the nine mil though. Oh, I stole the... I didn't even change armor. Let me go... Armored Vault 13. Which one's more? 8, 8, 12... Lightweight metal armor. That's what I'll go with. Oh, that's a good looking gun though. It looks like what the dude shot me with. Must have been a 9 mil. There's going to be a lot of, uh, I don't want to say quiet gaps that I'll try to fill in as best I can. But because a lot of the radio in this game and similar games, Fallout 4, Fallout 3, radio... You can get copyright striked, so I turned down the radio all the way. 
and music in general. Except for the intro. I hope that doesn't flag me. But I'm going to try to fill it in as best as I can. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. How do you... Oh. Left joystick. Okay, you're on. Go give them hell. Oh, I forgot vats. Oh, yes. Select. Nope, I want to go to the next... Oh, I need more shots on him. I missed everything. Ha, I gotcha. Ooh. I wonder if I can... Something maybe I could turn off some of the gore. I know YouTube doesn't like that too much. Is that it? Or is there further ahead? See? You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. I help you out and I get money. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes. Especially with two of us. Come with me. Five, five, six rounds. Is that just the uh, varmint? Right. I keep on trying to open the menu the wrong way. Yeah, it is varmint rifle ammo. That's good. So there's another. Come on. Gotcha. No, the other gecko. There. Take stuff that I can sell. Is this it? Next one's down here. Oh, is that a... Is that a friendly person? Oh. Sorry. Try to help you out. No, I didn't save her. Oh, crap. I am so sorry, uh, Good Spring Settler. I mean, you don't have a name. Dang it. I'll take all your stuff, though. My bad. I tried to get here as quick as I could. Yeah, it turned off. Oh. Take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. Ah, oh, hell's bells. There's not a day passes by I don't tell people not to come here by themselves. Some people, your word just isn't good enough for them. Then this happens. Well, it's a part of life out here. Best to accept it. But you did what you promised. Staying out here with me. Here's my end of the deal. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land. And making useful things for yourself. Interested? Couldn't right, hurt. Then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Sure, why not? Oh, oh, don't want to activate that. My bad, Sonny. <laughs> Let's see. So, I think that's the... That's the graveyard way over there.
get a little pop going here. Try to get across this place quicker. Schoolyard's right there. I'll get that second. Probably meet Sunny back over by Good Springs Saloon, hopefully. Hopefully she doesn't stay way down there. Yeah, I decided to play this series with all the, uh, with the Fallout series on, I forgot what channel it's on, but with the no, new uh, Fallout show, decided it might be a good, uh, good time to get some Fallout gaming in, record it. I watched a little bit of it, it looks like a great series, so. I need to check controls here, because, is there a way to run? I got jump. No, it's just sneak, left joystick, jump, Y. Well, that kind of sucks. So it's the slow movement the whole time so far. Well, we'll see how it goes when we have to traverse further distances. What is that, a gecko? Is that a scorpion? Bark scorpion. Okay, what do you got? Well, poison gland. I'll take it. Oh, no. Okay, this is about to be a VATS occasion right here. There's one. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Wow. That was quick. Let's see. Do you have... No, I, I need weapons. Varmint rifle. Let me actually use this. If I can hit a shot... Wow, I suck. I need to use vats, I guess. Two more. Yep, I think this is going to be a vats playthrough. Can you... Yep. Okay. This is the way to go then. So what did I even need to pick up? I forgot. Oh. I, I, that's an option? I can open the grave? Yeah, I forgot what exactly I needed to pick up. Is that a snow globe? Ooh. Collectors will pay dearly for them. That'll probably help me out. So I do have some experience with this game. I played played a little bit of it. Is that my grave? But I didn't really finish the whole game, so. Wait, it has a waypoint. Maybe that it'll be at the waypoint. Oh, Brock Flower. Okay. Okay, go all the way back down to the schoolhouse. Wait, wait. If I uh, put my weapon away, do I move any quicker? Ah, a little bit. Schoolhouse, that's way over there. Okay. I'd like to have music in the game. But, copyright strikes on YouTube are pretty serious. got a nice, uh, really rusted aesthetic in this game. Somehow, that's not rusted at all. Okay. Everything else is, but the three motorcycles are in pretty good condition. Oh, these are Brahmin. Or no, are these big corners? 
Oh, young bighorner. Yeah, that makes more sense. Call him a Brahmin. Dudes with the horns. So I guess that's the just cattle. Mutated cattle? It is after a nuclear war in this game, so. Oh, there's one. I'm hitting shots a little better. I just need some better weapons here and way more ammo. Mantis foreleg. Nymph. So where did I what did I need to pick up here? Xander roots. Okay. Oh. Heard gunfire. Oh, so she is all the way back down there. Is this where Victor lives? I mean Victor's shack. Ooh, I can go in? Oh no. I don't want to steal from Victor. Ammo box. Scrap metal. I don't know if I need to pick that up. I'll take more stuff, I guess. Oh, oven. Pilot light. Don't need that. Oh, sorry, Victor. I looted your ammo. My bad, man. Put the gun away. Hop through the landscape. I feel like that's going to be what's happening a lot. Hopping my way. Hopping my way to, I guess, the Vegas Strip. Sonny, why couldn't you meet me halfway? Gotta make me walk all the way back up there and then all the way back down here. Where yet? Oh, even further down. I haven't taken any damage so far this playthrough, which is better than normal for me. Wow, she's all the way down here. Oh, I guess I need a cap campfire. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be make Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Okay. Healing powder. Oh, accept X. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just... Well, I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. I'll stop by. It's only another three-mile walk. Can you get water out of these? Ooh. Oh, I, I probably should have looked at that. Rads. <laughs> Don't want to poison myself from trying to... Turn this voice up. I want that a little louder. I poison myself with radiation trying to get... <laughs> trying to heal myself with some water. Not be very good. But right away will fix that. Well, if there's uh these recipes, I assume there's some way to make a little stim pack and rat away, or at least something that does the same effect. It might not be called that because it's made by well me instead of I guess a company. I don't know if that sound is very good. Some, oh, that truck looks nice. I'd love to own that truck actually fixed. Prospector Saloon. And what's that? Good Springs General Store? Ooh, I wonder if I can snipe that bird. 
Oh, maybe I'll... Nope. Okay, let's not waste <laughs> eight waste ammo. I'm not a good enough shot for that. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, hey, see if I can make this a little louder. Turn voice all the way up. If you're not going to buy something, get out. That didn't help that much. Well, Dirty. you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Cobb hasn't exactly been looking for Ringo too hard. I think he's afraid that Ringo will ambush him, which is probably true. Where's Ringo he's now? He's held up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Oh, I'm definitely helping him. Powder gangers. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. That's a fair attitude. You got a nice little town here. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Oh, uh, that sounds like about, about right for the NCR. In terms of, well, being smart whatsoever. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. All right. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the <clears throat> house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. <laughs> Where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15? He'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. All right. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were Ringo? able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Just sure. There'd be caps in it for... I don't know if I can even fix the radio, I'm but sure I'll try. I think you probably need repair. Let me, uh, sell some stuff I have. I have some aid. I don't need... Oh, cure animal poison. I don't want anybody to get close enough for that. I have gecko hide and stuff. Oh, I do have weapon repair kits. Perfect. So, miscellaneous. Gecko egg, hide. Mantis egg. Mantis four legs. Yeah, see, I knew the carton of cigarettes would be handy. Poison scorpion gland. Don't need that. Wait, these are just cases. I don't need those. Not worth anything. I'm gonna sell the cleaver. I don't really want... If I'm getting melee range, I want something a little better than a knife or anything like that. What, now, what do you have? 
I guess you don't have weapons. It's eight or... Well, I'll buy that. And barter. Accept. All right. Thanks. I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Okay, that's a little suspicious. I'm not going to help the powder gangers at all, so I'm not even going to ask that question. There's always something... Oh, tell me about the NCR. The new California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. All right. <clears throat> tell me about the Legion. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to join them at all. That doesn't sound like a group I'm going to help out. Oh, yeah, can't even fix it. Sorry, Trudy. You're on your own. Let me go see Ringo. Gas station up on the hill. That one. I wish you could drive these trucks around. They look like trucks I'd love to drive in real life. What is that? Poseidon energy? Oh, with the trident? Yeah, okay. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? I'm not an Sorry enemy, if that's what you're asking. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. Let's say we start over with a friendly game of caravan. You know how to play? I'm good. Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm going to lay low for as long as I can. I, I can We help. just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Start with sunny smiles. Why not? Can I, uh... Oh, boxing times. Turpentine. I'm going to take that. Value 10. Anything else around here? Yeast. Doctor's bag. I'm gonna loot all your stuff while I have a chance here, man. Oh, whiskey. Oh, bottle caps. Oh, I don't want to steal ammo. I'm gonna get in trouble with cop. Uh, wait, no. Ringo here. Really? I don't even have a lockpick skill for that. That's disappointing. Okay, let's see who we can round up. So, Sunny Smiles first. Why is the gunfire in the background? Sunny Smiles first. I, I believe she's in Prospector Saloon. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while. So oh, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. 
If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. I'll be waiting. I'll try to talk to him. I probably I don't probably have the speech skill for it, so but you're planning on we can taking try. on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you How have to do what you know? think is right. What is my speech skill looking like? I was planning oh. on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay, that worked better than I thought. What is my be speech Be careful skill? out there. I need to find that out. Oh, speech right now is 33. We bring that up to 35. I'm gonna bring guns up to 35 as well. I wanna get repair up to 20 at least. Let's see what else. Bring those both up. I'm s I feel like I'm between Oh, Swift Learner. Intense training, rapid reload, and swift learner. I think for now I'm gonna go. I think for now I'm gonna go to Swift Learner. Nah, intense training. I can put my charisma up to that. Yeah, let's bring charisma up. So, do I have the repair level to upgrade it? Oh, I do. Nice. Nice. Feeling thirsty? I Fix your radio. Yeah. Not at all. Now, how about... What? Be careful this out there. This is turning out good for the starter area. Good springs. Let me go talk to Doc Mitchell and... Dude that runs the... What is his name? Easy. Chat from the... Oh, Easy Pete, too. Howdy. Too ding. Never mind. I don't have the explosive skill for that. Yeah. That was a fail. I need to stop skipping through dialogue. Well, there's certain parts I can. I'm just gonna... Have y'all let me know. Chat, right? Yep, chat. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. Way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Need supplies to fight the powder gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. You Ooh, I point. do have the barter for that. I nice. can provide people with some leather armor and extra ammo. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this... Tell me about the weapon mods and special weapon ammo. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. What makes the surplus ammo inferior? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Show me what you have for sale. What kind of weapons do you have? Laser pistol. Oh, GRA, that's gun runner's arsenal. Plasma pistol. 
Recharge your rifle. Ooh, I need a shovel. I could probably use that back up on the... On the... Graveyard. <laughs> so you can get boxing tape. Inflicts fatigue damage. So are these the ones that are uh, a little worse quality? Take a bobby pin. What's what? What ammo y'all got? Got nine mil? Yes. Take all thirty-five of those. Five, five, six. Take all those. That's not bad damage, but I'm going to sell all of these throwing spears because I'm not going to hit a thing if I even try. Tribal raiding armor. Four DT. I don't need that. Lightweight leather. I'll sell that. So he's giving me some money. What else do I got? I keep doctor's bags. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep every healing item I can. Carton of cigarettes, turpentine. I'll accept that. Pleasure doing business with you. Okay. Take it easy. So who's left? Doc Mitchell. I, I believe that's it. I can't do easy Pete. I don't have the explosive skill for that. Doc Mitchell. So, I'm asking these people for help against the Powder Gangers, but th so far they're just giving me things. So, where's he at? There you are. Welcome back. I need medical supplies. Sure. Oh, nope, that's not the right thing. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. That's all we need, man. You take care. Appreciate that. So he's from a vault, so he probably has experience. Maybe the vault was raided or something like that. Probably has experience about... People just not leaving each other alone. Okay, that's all I got for Ringo now. Got three people to help. So what's going on? Well, I guess that means we're ready to... Let's do this. All right. So... Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Okay. Well, I need to make sure I have the right weapons equipped here. I don't want varmint rifle, that's for sure. I'm probably going to use this for now. And then switch to the... I guess uh, sturdy caravan shotgun. I think I see him on the road over there. Yep. Let me take this out. Actually, put it away. Make sure I don't shoot myself. Can I uh, hit y'all from here? Nope. Yeah, that... that Vilified. That, uh... Oh, liked. Thanks. Let me search, y'all. Ooh, 357 Magnum. That's what I wanted. Stealth boy. I could sell the armor. Dynamite. I'll sell everything. Why not? That's what I wanted. I want a better shotgun. Single shotgun. What? 20 gauge? I owe you a huge favor for this. Here. These are technically Crimson Caravan funds, but 
I know they'll understand once I explain things. You're welcome. I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. Crimson Caravan, that's where he is. Okay. I'm going to sell all of this stuff, so I might as well pick it up. 20 gauge Desperado Cowboy Hat. I like it. Oh, need to worry about getting over encumbered here. Okay. There's more people, I think. I looted them. And there's one dude over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, hmm, let me uh, try to empty out Hello. Trudy's caps with some of the stuff to sell. And then I'm going to go try to repair that SMG that, uh, that little... Where's Trudy? Uh, is Trudy not in here? Oh, is she in here now? There he is. I'll try to fix that SMG that, that Doc Mitchell over. has in his house. Show me what you have for sale. Weapons, I don't... I'm going to sell Cleaver. Which one's better from the Broad Machete? 31 DPS, 13 damage. 12 damage, 16 DPS. I'll sell that. I'm going to keep Dynamites. I don't need... I can repair them, though. Repair those. Weather 10 mil. Why is that worth a thousand? Okay. Sell powder gangers. I'm gonna keep Desperado. Perception plus one. That's pretty good. Guard armor. Sell, 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 sell. Well, Desperado looks better and it's the same perception. That's just cases. Not worth anything. That gets it. Oh, she don't... Oh, wait. Crap. Exit this. She only has 57 caps. Got There's no point in trying to sell everything. Let me just sell what she can take. Which is... Powder Gangle. Or oh, Powder Ganger. Uh, you know what? Just Guns. sell her the guard armor. That's already more than she can Thanks. take. Got nope. a special discount for you after what you've done for us. Nope, I didn't want to. Forgot you can't Be just exit the uh, dialogue. You actually have to scroll down through. Forget that sometimes. Let's see. Do you have something to sell for me, man? Chat. That was a hell of a candy. Okay. Now let me sell you this powder ganger apparel. I don't think I need leather armor. Weapons. I'll sell you the baseball bats and the cleaver. Dump this stuff on you. What do you got? So we already looked at these, but... Is there anything else? Buy like two of those. Yep, Thanks. that'll work. Okay, let me go to Doc Mitchell. See if I can repair that gun he has. I don't know what the level. I think it was twenty-five for uh, repairing that weapon. So, let's see. And I'll start heading towards the next area. Where was it at? Oh, right here. What? I don't have a repair of 25. Dang it. 
There goes that. Well, let's see where the next place I have to go is. Data. World map. Oh, nope. Not the right thing. So. I think these are the DLC locations. Good Spring Source, and that's Cemetery up there. Oh, I have the shovel now. Let me go to Good Spring Cemetery. Can I get anything out of these places? Ooh, I can. I feel... I, I mean, I'm grave robbing, ain't I? This is kind of messed up. <laughs> this is kind of mean. Sorry about that. I had to step away and take a phone call real quick. What else is there over there? I never searched the blowflies. How did I miss that? Is there any more graves? Oh, that's empty. Empty. What the heck is that sound in the background? Okay. Okay, I can't be the only one hearing that. Oh, that's creepy. Okay. Let me go back down here. Oh. So I think I'm supposed to head down this road. Oh. Abandoned bunker. So, let me head to just teleport to Good Springs. Okay, I think this is where I'm going to end part one of this Fallout New Vegas walkthrough. I guess next time, uh, yeah, we're just going to carry on down that road. I think that's everything in Good Springs. Maybe they have some more quests, but nothing that's real important. So I'll head down that road towards, what is that, the canyon wreckage there? And just keep, yeah, going this way. Well, I'll see you all in the next part. Take care.